Well everyone, the new M4 Pro MacBook Pros just came out and I want to go and show you exactly how to use these new beautiful Macs. Now these are very good choices, I'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly everything to do with the exterior and the interior of these Macs. Number one, luckily for you, if you get a Mac or any PC, you don't really have to worry about putting a case or screen protector on it, but I recommend going through every once in a while and wiping down your Mac. So you know, grab a cloth and just wipe it down, you don't want to you know, put too many smudges on it. Otherwise though, on the outside, at the top, you'll know it's the top because of this Apple logo. Now a quick thing is if you ever want to know which way your Mac is looking at you, this is basically, if you're looking at the Apple logo like this, this is the back side of it. If you actually want to have it facing you, you can know that because this Apple logo will be facing away from you. So this is the way you can open up the display. Now at the very top, there's nothing, just the, the fans basically. On this side of our MacBook, you can see that we have our MagSafe charger, so it's a little bit harder to see because of the way this particular Mac looks. We can see we have our MagSafe charger right here. This is a way you can charge up your Mac. I typically don't charge it via MagSafe, but it is a really nice port to have. You also have two USB Type-C ports as, you know, as well here, so these are basically Thunderbolt ports. So you can dock these things out to monitors and they have a lot of support. And you're getting a headphone jack on the, right, on the left side as well. On the front side here, this is where you can go ahead and have a little indent. This is how you can quickly open and close your Mac. So you can just go ahead and flip this thing open or close depending on which way you want to do it. And on the right side, you're basically getting your other ports. So you're also getting a standard uh, SD card slot, you're getting a USB Type-C port, and you're getting an HDMI port as well. So you're getting a lot of I.O. inside of this Mac, which is just amazing. And on the back side, you're just getting your feet. So you're just getting your feet prints right here. And then you're also just getting your MacBook Pro logo right there in the center. So there's not really anything else super insane to kind of understand here. You do have some screws here that you can go and take apart your Mac if you really want to, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. But it's a very, very, very powerful machine, even on the exterior. Now, opening it up for the first time, you can do this a couple of ways. Like I said, this Apple logo facing you is the way you want it to kind of look at you. Now, if you want to open it, you can open it even just with one finger and open up the display just like this. So when you open it up for the first time or the 10th, 100th time, you'll basically see this keyboard right here. So this is a full-size keyboard. It has a lot of capability inside of this keyboard as well. So the way of the land of this keyboard, it's not anything super crazy. So for number one, you're getting, it's a full-size keyboard. So you're getting your number pad up here, standard keyboard right here. This is a vibration motor right here. So this is your trackpad. This is how you can interact with your whole Mac. There's nothing on these sides of the Mac. You're getting your speakers on these sides as well, which is nice. And the top right corner, this is your power button. So this button right here that has the circle inside of it, this is your power button. You can quickly turn on or off your Mac by holding this down or clicking on it. This also has a fingerprint sensor built in as well. So the very first time you go through the setup of your particular Mac, you will see this fingerprint sensor right here. It will allow you to go ahead and kind of configure and set up this fingerprint sensor like that. So that is an option that you basically have. Now, when you first turn on your Mac, it'll go ahead and tell you to basically log in. It'll tell you to you know, go through the standard process first, but this is the basically main display of your particular Mac. So you'll notice that with these displays, you're either getting a 14 inch display or a 16 inch display. And they're very, very good displays. They're also ProMotion. You're getting the notch at the very top that has your FaceTime camera right there as well. Now you can log in just by typing in your passcode when you actually officially go through. And when you actually go through, you will see that your Mac is presenting you with this particular type of you know, home screen. So the way these particular Macs basically work, if you understand this Mac, you'll understand any Mac, they're essentially exactly the same. So if you look at the very top, this is your status bar. So just like a status bar with an iPhone or Android, you'll also notice that this is fairly similar. You'll have you know, the time and stuff in the top. You'll have your Wi-Fi connection and different things like that. This little panel is your control center. So if you go and tap on it, you can see all these other types of controls that you basically have. And it is actually very nice because you can then go through and basically just get a better idea of exactly everything that's on your Mac. So if you want quick toggles to your Wi-Fi or your AirDrop or display brightness or sound, you can quickly toggle those here. And it is actually very convenient to have. You can also go and click on the time at the very top right. And you can go and see your widgets here as well. So this is something that's really cool. And actually, you can now go through and grab a widget here and even bring it out to your home screen if you want to, which is something that's really cool. So if you want to, you can go and customize your new macOS. I think it's macOS Sequoia. You can now do that within macOS Sequoia, which is really cool. Now, if you look at your top left side, you will see a couple of icons. 
So your Apple logo in the top left will always be there. If you click on it, it'll go ahead and give you into a couple of different you know, system-wide settings. So you can quickly force quit an application. You can sleep, restart, or shut down your Mac. You can lock your screen or log out a user. You can also click on about this Mac to get a couple of more, I guess, information about what your Mac is kind of holding. So it'll tell you the RAM, the storage, or you know the type of Mac it is, the year it was made. So you can kind of see that here too if you really even care about it. If you want to close out of a particular option, you can always click on the X button up here. But one big thing is that with these toggles up here, these will always change depending on the application you have. So if I go into the Find Wrap here, it'll go and give me this type of layout, right? But if I go and open up a file, it'll go and change it out. So these things will dynamically change with whatever application I'm in. So it's hard to kind of give you like, hey, this is what, it's hard to go in detail here. But these will just give you more details about the particular application you're using. Now you can also minimize an application by clicking this orange button. Or if you want to full screen an application, you can click on this little green button right here and it will go ahead and automatically full screen it for you. Now if you want to, if you actually hover over that folding, this, um, this full screen option, it will give you this panel where you can actually go through and kind of choose whichever way you want to actually go ahead and have it set up. So left, right side, the right side, you can go and kind of figure it out automatically. And it's actually a really convenient thing to have. I'll go and click the X button here and I'll click the X button here as well. At the very bottom, you'll have your dock. So these are all of the applications that you currently have kind of open for the most part, but they may not even be open. These can just be applications that are just saved on your background and bottom as well. So if you wanna go ahead and open up, let's say the mail application, I can go and open up mail and I can go ahead and bring it into just like this. And if I want to, I can go ahead and minimize it or I can exit out of it. I can do whatever I want to here. And I can also open up my Safari browser here as well. So you can go ahead and kind of start opening up applications and start kind of seeing which ones you like, which ones you don't like. And there's always alternatives. Like if you don't want Safari, you can also go to Google Chrome. It's also an option. So you can kind of, you know, modify this whichever way you want to. You can move an application by just moving it out, just grabbing the top and moving it side to side. If you want to see all the applications you currently have on your Mac, you can find your launch pad just right here. Go ahead and open it up. And that will present you with all the applications that you currently have. So you can go through here and just kind of see which applications you like the most. You can you know, use them, modify them, get more comfortable with using your Mac in general. If you want to go ahead and download more applications though, there's a couple of ways. You can download them via the Safari browser. So you can find DMG files online you know, on reputable websites and download applications that way. Or you can make your way over to your app store, which is right down here. And you can also download applications within your app store. So this is another cool thing. There's tons of applications built out inside of your app store as well. So you can find your app, you can click on search, you know, find an app that you like, download it, and basically go from there as well, which is very, very convenient. Now, finally, your settings application is another very, very big app that I'm sure a lot of people will end up using. So if you click on system settings, this application will go ahead and bring you into your settings. So here's where you can modify a lot of settings. I'd recommend you to kind of go through here and get very comfortable with this particular application because there is a lot of good stuff within this app. But if you want to, you can also click on software update right here under general. So click on general and click on software update. And what I'd recommend doing is basically updating your particular phone. This is, or <laughs> updating your Mac. This is by far one of the easiest ways of going through and basically just updating your Mac and keeping it updated because there can be new issues. There can be new things that just came out and I recommend going through here and basically updating your Mac as soon as you buy it. So. At the core, that's pretty much, those are pretty much the main things you can do to basically go through and start using your Mac. I think you made a really good choice. These Macs are gonna last for a very long time, but that's essentially how you can go ahead and use your M4 MacBook Pro. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.